Thanks to yurtsofamerica.com for carrying our videos made in the USA, yurts of any size, and goodridgelumber.com in Albany, Vermont. Good friends of ours, goodridgelumber.com. Go check them out. And if you would like the forts, tiny houses, and cabins, check out my book, Humble Home, Simple Shacks, on Amazon.com. There she is. All right, this is an impromptu abandoned log cabin visit in Connecticut. Yeah, here go stand next to it. That door is to code, right, size wise? It's Shaquille O'Neal. My cousins Neil and Kurt Malik built this years ago when they were kids. And I figured we'd take some video of it just to sh just to uh, show it, to kind of you know let's say immortalize it before it someday rots and falls to the ground because no one's used it. It's out in the middle of the woods, middle of the woods here uh, outside Norwich, Connecticut. Don't have my wide angle lens, so this is gonna look kind of sketchy. Oh God. <laughs> There's the old like uh, mud and straw chinking here. How old were they? Do you remember dust when they built this? I forget. I think even before that, right? Neil was in high school and Kurt was younger. The floor is dug out though, so there's, more, uh, there's not much light in here. Old yodel stove. Passing through the wall here. They built this when they were little kids. You know, a little breezy, but there's uh, sleeping lofts up here, which I always thought was cool. Probably a lot of birds nesting in here. I keep seeing little or squirrels. The loft in a U shape kind of wraps around here. You know, with some padding, foam padding, or cushions would be pretty cool, pretty comfortable up here. There's a uh, Kind of wrist thick or thicker diagonal brace here for the uh, the ridge pole. The... A lot of felling and dragging logs out here in the middle of the woods, though, all by hand. No power tools. I should actually probably pull the stove out of here before it's too late. It rusts to nothing because it's a nice stove. This used to be, uh, when I grew up as a kid, this was the wood stove back in another part of Connecticut that used to heat our house. I remember it when I was very young. A little table made out of a bunch of scraps, it looks like. An old skull. My cousin Kurt hollowed out this bowl here out of a log, which probably took quite a bit of time as well. Safety first. We're not too far from Lyme, Connecticut, so I'm wearing a very, this is actually my aunt's hat, and come to visit. Very goofy hat, because uh, this area of the state is just so infested with ticks that I'm sure when we come out of the woods here, we've been careful, we're going to pick a ton of them off our pants, which is all right. So as you can see here, it's dug down a little bit. Give you more headroom. I can actually stand fully upright here. That's pretty much all there is to it as I lean against the thing and the whole thing falls down and collapses. Just want to kind of get it on film uh, before it's gone. A couple parts is actually sitting on some, you know, stone sills they built. Most of it is just logs in the mud. You can see animals are already pecking away and powder post beetles and bugs are eating it. It looks like there's some den for an animal in there too. Oh, it's a skunk, so we're getting out of here. But uh, I don't know, this thing's been here probably 20 years now, I would say. 
Still going strong. Memories. <laughs> All right, that's it for this time. I'll see you guys around.